Welcome to another exciting episode of Cars with Big Boy Trev. As usual, we endeavor to give you all the latest news and reviews from around the world. Including this week, we sample the Suzuki Sears. But first things first, let's check out the news. So the first news item comes from the Ford Ranger they have just unveiled today. The brand new Ranger series for model year 2019. Now this comes with an update. Remember the Toyota Hilux just launched recently the new 2019 model and of course Mitsubishi and the rest of the heart. Now this particular Ford Ranger will have a new engine option. You have a 2 litre twin turbo diesel producing 157 kilowatts and 500 newton meters of torque. Of course Ford will continue to offer the 2.2 turbo diesel and of course the 3.2 XLT version which produces 147 kilowatts and 470 newton meters of torque. And in addition to that, of course, they also have a 10-speed gearbox. So you have greater efficiency and more exploitation of the full potential of this brand new engine. We expect this model to land in Kenya starting June 2019 and we'll keep you posted on cars the Big Boy Trev. On the second news item, you noted that Lewis Hamilton won his first Grand Prix at Bahrain last weekend. Now, this was his first win as he charges towards his sixth title but that was not the news the news was the new kid from ferrari charles leclerc who managed to dominate the whole race up to the last point when his engine packed up and he couldn't believe that we passed him and the rest of the teams and he became third place now this kid upstaged his senior vettel who was really struggling to ensure that he remains on top and it rose a lot of eyebrows question is do you think charles leclerc is the future world formula one champion let us know as you send us your thoughts and comments as seen on social media handles below so guys there's an amazing offer courtesy of toyota kenya if you're looking to buy a land cruiser l200 vx please visit the showroom they have amazing offers i can't reveal what until you come remember the land cruiser vx has plenty of kits from reverse camera to navigation to a brand spanking v8 all those things and of course class and luxury in one package stay tuned for a review coming up next week but please visit the toyota kenya showroom and they'll give you details on the amazing offer they have on this specific l200 vx So the first one comes from Twitter. There's a guy who says, it's called Governor Sengeli Correspondence. The first Toyota Hyas was built in 1989 at CBBT TV. We want a review of the Toyota Crown and the Toyota Mark X. Well, your wish is our command. We'll make sure that you do the reviews of the Crown and the Mark X coming soon to a TV near you. Now the second one comes from uh, Kevin Kimatu. He says, so far so good, the Nissan Double Cab refinement is fantastic learning a lot from you guys thank you thank you very much continue watching the show and we'll continue to educate you and show you how the motor industry is and different models omutiti fedek he says so good i finally made a choice between the volkswagen amarok and the nissan navara keep it up thanks for your show asante sana we'll endeavor to give you the latest reviews courtesy of cars with big but Trev. remember this is your show if you have any questions or comments please do not hesitate to Write to us as seen on social media handles below and we'll respond. Let's keep talking, let's keep chatting. Coming into the cabin of the Sears and I can tell you what Suzuki has done is to leapfrog so many manufacturers who are in the, within this space. Remember the entry level saloons, uh, you know, they compromise on comfort and other features but this one, it's actually fully loaded for the price that it comes with. Now, if you look at the dashboard, the design, it looks very premium. You know, it's a bit of plasticky but you can tell even with the choice of materials, it still looks premium. The highlight of it is the center console, obviously you do have the radio that has FM, Bluetooth, media that you can play auxiliary 
um, you can even play a CD or even you can have a, a USB port if you want. So we're going to play some music. Mm, 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 mm. You gotta love some new jack and you'll be enjoying this and jamming in the Suzuki CRs definitely because the six speaker system is actually very nice. The bass and the treble is balanced and it feels like it has surround sound. That is very important. Nairobi is extremely hot and the AC that is right below the audio system provides a cooling effect within the car. Now this one works so well because the Sears has so many vents including at the back the passengers can actually adjust the temperature and 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 direct the wind coming into the car so that you feel very comfortable with driving the Sears. The instrument being a color as well clear and precise as always uh, making sure that you have all the vital information and in between you do have a screen that gives you also information like your odometer, your uh, average speed, your fuel consumption and so much more and gives you all the vital information that you need in this car. Satellite buttons of the steering wheel as well. On the right side you have cruise control. Who puts cruise control on entry level vehicles? Only Suzuki. Over here you have two slots for uh, bottles but this one fits bigger on the door bin which is practical enough. You also have a USB port, a power port, and of course, um, you have auxiliary port for your iPod or whatever uh, gadget that you have. Again, the automatic gearbox is five speed. In other markets, you get uh, a five speed manual, but this is just well done. It's okay. For the Suzuki, it's fantastic. Now, this particular car actually comes with optional extras that are coming standard in this particular vehicle. So, you do have uh, reverse sensors at the back, and of course, the rear view mirror. Uh, camera that is actually at the back but it displays this uh, rear view scenery from the rear view mirror which is very important to this point in age. This car is very comfortable, big boy is comfortable as you can see, it seats five people, leather seats are standard, uh, you do have enough bolstering for long distances, up front you have proper leg and headroom and at the back even the people at the back would enjoy being in the CRs for long distances. So. As you move towards the boot of the Sears, it's actually quite deep and spacious. You can carry, I think, two and a half suitcases here. Again, you do have plenty of spaces. It's deep enough to accommodate, uh, you know, certain loads that are a bit tall. And you're able to pack a lot, you know, if you're doing groceries or if you're doing, um, you know, stuff that you're carrying at the boot. This has enough space for you and your family to carry stuff around. And underneath you do have a spare saver as well, together with the toolkit. And that's it. That gives you adequate carrying capacity on the Sears. Now we need to go on road and find out if this car is efficient, it's powerful, it is energetic to drive and of course give you value for money analysis as we take you through the pieces with cars with big boy drive. So guys, I'm telling you the space on the crossover section in Kenya is growing. Right now we are reviewing the Nissan Skyline Coupe. Now the rivals include the RX from Lexus or the Harrier in Japanese spec or JDM spec. And of course you do have your regular, your Q5s from Audi, of course the X3 and many others that are fighting for this piece of the crossover pie. So let's get down to it. The center console is clearly the highlight because it's protruding and you can see the swooping design. It makes it look like an F16 cockpit i've not been in one but yeah it looks like this i've seen the pics it looks like this so the highlight is the screen as well you can see here it's a multi-touch uh information display that houses obviously the navigation the radio and of course you can control fm and if you have a disc mp3 or audio you can literally play your music your videos with ease so i'll just play one so it lights up to a nissan hue and then It will quickly select disc. It tells me in Japanese, ETC. And if you love Roomba, I'm telling you, listen to that. Cameraman, swing! Show them. That is 
Amazing. Listen, guys. If you're terminal long distance with this skyline, then this is a car for you. Because your family will be entertained. You can put on your movies, your MP3s, your DVDs, anything while driving this particular skyline. So right below this the clock and the radio segment, you do have a climate control which is dual zone. So the person on that side can control their temperature and I can control my temperature without creating any friction. And at the back you do have plenty of vents. Right here you do have also vents for the rear passengers. Again, Nissan have really tried to make sure that the premium touch, fit and finish of this cabin is up to par with the Germans. You can even see here this color, it's soft touch, uh, you know, plastic and then you do have stitched leather. It looks like stitched leather, I think. And then the sound system is both, again, both sound amazing that's why we've been playing the music it's got deep bass deep treble and, and the center is like a it's, it's like a surround sound you feel when you're driving this particular car on the steering and instrument binnacle it's comfortable enough i i can fit properly as you can see it has plenty of satellite buttons you do have source which controls the navigation system then you have a voice command dvd Voila, guys, and you enjoy your music. You know, I love rumba. Then I'm doing a penna rumba. I'm telling you. The seats are comfortable, as you can see here. Big boy is very comfortable. They look like the patrol guys, by the way. Leather, this, this looks like um, Alcantara leather. It, it is comfortable. It looks very premium, very German, stitched, and it just blends with the color. And then you do also have a sunroof. For those lovely sunny days, going to Mombasa will be an ease because you'll be able to enjoy the sunny skies, the blue skies, courtesy of this Nissan. At the back, it sits three people. Three, three, comfortably, relatively comfortably. Um, the floor is a bit flat so that you're able to uh, have the middle passenger feel comfortable. And of course, you do have seat belts and baby seat anchorage. That is very important. You can anchor your seats so that uh, the, uh, the seat doesn't move around and your baby may remain safe while at the back of any sense. Let's go at the back and find out if this car makes any sense to you when it comes to luggage. Let's go. So moving at the back, you can see the Skyline Coupe has got plenty of luggage space. You can actually fit quite a number of things, including two suitcases. If you're kind of person who loves groceries, then your full shopping will definitely fit here. You do have tie down hooks as you can see here so that you can secure your luggage. And of course, if you want to lie down the seats for more space, just press. And voila! You get plenty of space all the way to the front seat so you can carry much more. So if you have gunias, or you have luggage, or you have fruits that you've bought while traveling to Nairobi and back, then this car is as practical as it can be. You have also... This is the subwoofer, guys. Subwoofer from Bose. Sound has been amplified with this base tube and that makes this car amazing you do have also run flats so you have tire milk for repairing your tires it doesn't have a, a spare tire or a space saver that's something innovative cut safe diesel enough said you need to see the power we're gonna drive this car and tell you if it's got punch oomph and it's enjoyable to drive then we're gonna give you a value for money preposition with mr murigui will you take this over the rivals stay tuned Up front, it's actually powered by a 1.5 liter four cylinder engine with variable valve timing producing 77 kilowatts and 138 Nm meters of torque. All the power sent to the front wheels courtesy of a five speed automatic with Tiptronic facility, and of course, uh, in the market, you can actually get a five speed manual transmission. All the seats are leather, you can uh, adjust accordingly, of course, and you do have also some active and passive safety items. For example, you can have the dual airbags as. Uh, safety features and of course you have ABS and in a high spec model you'll get stability control uh, and this one has pack assist and fog led so it's it's actually a well spec vehicle so guys you've seen the Suzuki Sears has got a little bit of pizzazz I mean for a Suzuki it's been well designed it looks good it's spacious it's got plenty of kit plus it gives you value for money now speaking of value for money this particular car costs from Kenya shillings 2.1 million for the mid-spec and all the way to 
How much? 2.5 million. Prices starting from 2.5 million for the GLX top spec version. That's the one with the reversing camera, cruise control, and parking sensors. Now remember, this particular car also comes with a three-year, 100,000 kilometer warranty, courtesy of Suzuki by Toyota, and you do get the additional backup and service using the Toyota Kenya network. Murigi, who are the rivals of this particular brand? At the moment, there is the car that we looked at a bit earlier in the series, the Renault Megane and the Subaru Impreza. Again, remember, these particular cars are all fighting in this particular category. What are your thoughts? Did you pick this over the rivals? Send us your thoughts and comments as seen on social media and us below, and we will respond. For us, those were initially ideas, and then out of ideas, we went to sketches of ideas, and we got feedback in each and every design round. So we did eight rounds in total. Each and every time we started at this office, brainstorming, creative processes, we came to Kenya, and we confronted different groups of users of motorcycles by bringing them into a room showing them the sketches that we did, talk about the ideas, and have them actually validate, or maybe falsify is probably the most important part of it, some of those ideas. What was very clear from the beginning was that there, there's three things that can't be compromised. One is quality, the other is safety reliability, and the third one is looks. And the looks might not sound so important, but we all know that you know something can be of great quality and be super reliable, but if it's ugly as hell, no one's gonna buy it. So then of course the fourth, com fourth component is the cost. It has to be cost competitive. K250 is, um, is a higher end bike. Uh, it's more powerful. It's different in the way it's designed and engineered to a certain extent. Um, but it's also quite similar in ways because it's a K-series bike, K150, K250. So it means the chassis is the same um, and a lot of other components are the same. Of course there are those components that are specific to K250. Whatever um, has to do with the drivetrain uh, needs to be stronger, needs to be more powerful. Suspensions, uh, the bigger tank. The exhaust pipe that's positioned differently to create more ground clearance. At Kibo, when we focus on designing, engineering, manufacturing motorcycles, we don't tell you we sell motorcycles, we sell mobility. We're not only your friends when you come to buy that product, we ensure that it's good quality and that you're set up with after sale services, availability of spare parts, the maintenance everything to keep you up and running. We are not your friends only at the time of purchase, but we're your friends throughout the lifetime of the motorcycle. It's a beautiful day out here and I'm sampling the Nissan Skyline Coupe. I have been wanting to test this car for the longest time. Now I have it in my hands and it's now available in the second hand market. You know me, I love power. So let's start with the power. Up front, you do have a 3.7 litre V6 petrol producing 243 kilowatts and 361 newton meters. Enough to go like this. <laughs> Monster! That! Accelerates from 0 to 106 seconds and the power is supplied to the rear wheels courtesy of a 7-speed automatic uh, gearbox. Now, this car is refined. It's quiet, it's spacious. I can tell you for a fact. It feels very, very premium. The reason is because Nissan owns Infiniti, fully loaded with features that is directly extracted from the Infiniti QX60 and it makes this car very, very good. Now, features. Again, safety-wise you do have radar guided cruise control which is very important in this day and age because you're able to maintain certain speed at given times following the vehicle up front so if you're doing 80 the vehicle is doing 80 it will maintain that speed if that vehicle in front 
accelerates or decelerates, the vehicle automatically does that because it uses radar to measure the distance. And that is something that is very, very important. Again, you have vehicle stability control, which is standard, ABS, which is also very, very key. And of course, you do have six airbags to protect you and your family in case all hell breaks loose. Again, plenty of creature comforts, as you mentioned, you have a sunroof, you do have passes that fold at the back, and of course, you do have a thumping audio system courtesy of Bose that sounds like this. My guys, listen, Bose system, all round, creature comforts, what more are you looking for? We are doing a value for money proposition right now and see how much it costs to service this vehicle, to import it, and of course, who are the rivals. Stay tuned. Guys, the crossover segment in Kenya is growing tremendously. I can tell you with the entrance of this Nissan Skyline Coupe. It just added a little bit of flavor, guys. This is a 3.6 litre V6 producing 243 kilowatts and 361 Newton meters of torque. All that power sent to the rear wheels courtesy of a 7 speed 0 to 100 6 seconds now if you're looking for thrill and you still want to carry your family then this is the car for you guys remember this particular car has been in the market for close to five to six years now it's in kenya and you can own it for only 2.6 million kenya shillings mr murigi rivals who are they and how much do they cost? The rivals in this segment, obviously, looking at the luxury element of this thing, this has a beautiful leather interior, radar guided cruise control, every bell and whistle you can imagine. So obviously you're thinking about the Lexus RX350. You're also looking at the BMW X3 and the Audi Q5 that we reviewed a few episodes ago. Again, guys, listen, it's your show. If you have any questions, comments or queries, would you pick this? over the Toyota. Do you think the Toyota RX350 is overrated or the BMW for that matter? Send us your thoughts and comments as seen on the social media handles below and we'll respond as usual and tell you your feedback. This is Big Boy Trev signing out. This is Murigi. Drive safe and be safe.